Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about comparison being the enemy of joy, the thief of joy, the murderer of joy, or whatever the hell the saying is. Alright, so have you, have you done this? Have you gotten inspired to create something and you start writing? And you start putting together this thing because this idea you have is just burning a hole in your soul, okay? So you're writing this thing out. You write it. You're super fucking happy with it. You read it. You feel good. And then um, you go over it again, maybe. And then you start thinking of, oh, shh. Well, you know, God, this isn't as good as maybe like Stephen King or fucking Jack Kerouac or I don't know, whoever the fuck you're into. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. And you start thinking about this and you start thinking of all of the things that you're really into that this thing isn't. Then how do you feel at that moment? What is the feeling in your heart? What is the feeling in your soul? What is the doubt that's like flying through your mind? Okay. You have all this shit going on. And the problem here is, is that all of that stuff turns what you had at the beginning, that excitement, that love, that like passion to create something in the first place. All that's gone now. Because all you're thinking about is, I don't know if this is up to snuff with this other stuff that I like. The reason why this is such a shit problem is if you think about it, if every person who ever created something decided, like, I don't know, like, this isn't as good as that other thing, nothing would have ever been created again. The original art pieces that we all have would be, that would be it. Like we would be going, oh man, that cave painting from eight fucking million years ago is the end all be all and I'll never be able to fucking top it. Okay. Every person that you love, okay, as a writer or whatever, had inspirations, had people that they loved. Okay. Okay. Like, imagine if Stephen King never wrote a word because he was afraid that Lovecraft's stuff was so much better than his that he should never create anything, okay? Imagine if Bukowski decided he was never going to write because early Hemingway was so fucking good, okay? Like, think about this shit. Like, it's... And when I say these things, you go, oh, but that's crazy, Exactly. We are our own worst critics. Okay? We have if you've been if you've been writing for any period of time and to put stuff out, you have people who think very highly of your stuff. That think your stuff is the best there is. Okay? And for you having maybe low self-esteem or just confidence issues, that's hard for you to believe and hard for you to swallow. But it is the truth. There are people who love your stuff. And if you haven't written anything yet, there will be people who love your stuff. And those people won't just be people who either gave birth to you or people you're sleeping with. Okay? They will be people who actually like your stuff. So what I'm kind of challenging you to do is keep that fire of excitement and passion when you first have an idea of doing something. That feeling, that drive, that motivation, that excitement, that's what you need to have all the fucking time. And will you? No, of course not. But that's the goal, okay? So every time you start comparing yourself to somebody else, and thinking that your stuff isn't good enough, start thinking of people that you admire, okay? And then who they admired. And then go, yeah, but they still put their stuff out. And they put it out, and I was able to read it because of that. I was able to take that in because of that. Okay? We're always going to think the people that we 
love are better than us. Who gives a shit? That's fine. Okay? Because again, once we create our art, it isn't for us anymore. It is for the people who consume the art. And they will be the judge of how awesome or not awesome our stuff is. And here's another thing I'll hit you with. Your art isn't for everyone. My art isn't for everyone. There are people who think I am shit and awful. And there's other people who love my stuff. Okay? And that's just how it is. So don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> just keep that flame burning. Okay? Blood Rag 15 out now for free on my website. Links down below. Bloodshed Review number three out now. Jeff Taylor, Adam Crawford, Tamara Albana. Poems Over Kitty, my latest chapbook, is out now on my Etsy shop. And if you run over to Amazon, you can finally get Pharma Phoenix Rises, my out of print chapbook that is now available as an ebook. Hopefully, today there will be a new ebook up on Amazon too. So, with that said, again, type hard, everybody. Let me know what you think down below. There will be videos here for you to look at, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.